Good morning, good morning, happy Friday. Could you believe it? The week has just flown by. Good morning to you all. It's morning here where I am in, in the Gaithersburg area. And uh, I am Clarissa Myers coming to you live. And um, yes, the weekend is just about here. So I've been, you know, I'm speaking to spiritual entrepreneurs, people who know that they were placed on this planet to be more, to do more. And we all know that God has placed that specialness inside of us. And it's our job to find what it is. Some of us find it right away. Some people go through their entire lives not knowing what their special gift, talent is. But, you know, we are spiritual beings. And, oh, good morning. Good morning to you, Redbone. And glad that you can join me this morning. Good morning. Okay, you know what I need this. <laughs> this is my, my little crutch here. Good morning, Hamza. Thank you for joining me this morning. So I am gonna be continuing my talk about skills that we all should be working on and developing within ourselves. And the one I'm gonna focus on today, again, is mastering the skill of mindfulness. Mindfulness. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for the, for the love. Uh, let me see, I think somebody else just came home and joined me. So, um, how do we still our minds? You know, I know for a fact that as we live and go through life, we will encounter something, some event, some, some memory of, something that's maybe catastrophic that kind of like shook us to the core and you're trying to move on in your life to be able to accomplish other things that you have, but you feel like you're stuck because in your mind, you're just, you're stuck, you're replaying that event and you just can't seem to shake it loose, you know? So I know that's happened to me. It still happens to me because you, you know, somehow your mind reverts back to that thinking or to that event or to that situation. And it's sometimes hard to move on. So, as I've been on my journey investigating or trying to find out how to reach into ourselves and pull out the gifts that God has placed in us and how to become or to live better versions of ourselves, I've come across, you know, being able to master the, uh, our minds. And so, um, as I was listening to Christian meditation, you know, we all, we know this is something we all know, but do we actually practice it? So in the morning, early in the morning, this is something that we need to develop, a, like a routine, um, just to meditate. And in the meditation, you know, you practice, you focus on breathing. Now, I've never taken yoga, but I think that has something to do with that as well. But you, you practice being able to still the mind, sit, you know, I kind of went through, walked through a little bit of what you do. You don't have to necessarily sit. You can lay down, but just be still. And it's best to do it in the early wee hours of the morning, four or five o'clock, or sometime in the day when there's not a lot of noise and distractions and things like that, so you can f actually focus. And as you're thinking, you know, and you, you, you're thinking about your breathing, you, you're trying to stay here in the present, and we're human. Sometimes we, our minds start wandering and we go back to a specific thing. But from what I understand, to bring you back into the present, you focus on your breathing. As you breathe in, you know, you feel the air rushing through your lungs. You feel the warmth coming out as you exhale. You know, you go through, you have to um, practice it. It's not going to happen one time. It's something that you need at least maybe 20 minutes to do. And as you're as you're doing that, you're, and you, you master being here in the present, because your mind will wander, you bring it back to your breathing, that's how you bring yourself back. And as you bring yourself back, whatever thought, you don't beat yourself, oh man, I started wandering. No, you just, as you exhale, that thought, whatever was in your mind, you, you exhale and you're like, you, you offering it up to our creator, the divine, to God, I call him, that's who he is, God. Um, so you, 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 you offer that thought to him, but the thing is, in that stillness, and as you offer yourself, your thoughts, everything to him, 
you you master you master the here and now and then um, you take it a little further you, you no longer see yourself as your thoughts because we, we sometimes we think we are our thoughts but we're not our thoughts so you kind of have to like remove or separate yourself from that thought you know offer it up to to God because you know of course he made us he created us he knows everything about us and in that offering it's it's communication he communes with us he probably puts other thoughts in, into our minds you know the ones that will help us to move along or move on with our lives um, you know so mastering your mind mastering mindfulness you when you separate yourself because you know I know for me there there's a particular event that when I talk about You have to separate you from. From that event. Well, this is a touchy subject for me because that's what I'm practicing. Because to be able to talk about something, you have to separate yourself from it. And that is. It doesn't come easy. <laughs> So, as I learn something, I try to share it. Things that are important to me, but I, I'm sure I'm not the only one who may have experienced it. I know there are other people out there who, I, I don't want to say plague, but it's something that reoccurs. And to be able to, to address it, you have to be able to talk about it without emotion. Well, we humans, you know, if you've mastered it, it should not affect you. It's just you got to separate yourself from it. And that's not easily done. So you have to practice. <laughs> Good morning, Laverne. Thank you. She said, I'm <laughs> thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Sharing my heart is brave. <laughs> I come every morning and I share something that can help you in your personal life or in your business. There are things sometimes, sometimes that stop us from moving forward because, you know, there's something that holds us back from achieving what you, your, the goals that you've set for yourself. And so this morning I was practicing this. And I'm still tr working on trying to separate me from my thoughts in terms of the thoughts that will evoke emotion, you know. So mindfulness is another skill that we need to practice in order, in order to move on in achieving goals that we've set for ourselves. Ursula says, having the emotion is human. Yes. Just not letting them run you. That's, that's, I'm so glad you said that too, because when we offer our thoughts up to God, we have to avoid being swept away with it. Swept away with the emotion. You know, so it, it's going to take practice. It's going to take practice. Um, Bernard says, you naturally have good energy. Well, thank you, thank you. We have to feed ourselves. We have to feed our minds um, positive stuff. You know, the world is just filled with so much negativity that it's easy to just stay in the negative on a negative path. But we have to number one stop and realize, okay, where am I going on this path? Is this going to help me to achieve my goals? Do I need to make an about face and go in a different direction? But you know, we we connect with people who are who have experienced something similar. You know, somebody who has the same ambition or mindset, and 
we all can become better versions of ourselves. And see, I'm on my on this journey trying to become the best me possible. And yes, we all have those gifts. God has put it in each one of us, but it's up to us to discover it, to fashion it, to mold it, to develop it, and um, you know, and become better, better people for it. So I, I don't know if anything that I'm saying resonates with any of you, um, but m my goal as I'm going through life and learning more about me and how I can become a better person, my goal is to help others stop and realize that they have greatness inside of them too. And nobody on the outside is going to develop your greatness. It's going to take you to explore it, discover it, you know, and, and make it the best, make you the best you. So, um, good morning, Jerome. Good morning. I'm glad you what? Oh, I don't know. I, I can't tell anymore. Facebook used to be able to let you know who's watching live and who's just watching. <laughs> um, who's watching and engaging. So I can't tell anymore. It's just I'm seeing everybody. Good morning. Um, good morning to you. I see somebody else here. Yes, um, mindfulness is an active lifestyle. Con thank you. He says, con this is Bernard. Continue to share your beautiful thoughts and spirit. I appreciate that. Th thank you. Because sometimes I say, you know what? This is not... It's not maybe making any difference in someone's life. But I said, you know, I can't think like that. I have to do what is driving me. Um, and just, just when I think back, I had been feeling this pull all along that I knew I had to do something and I would be speaking to people. And um, when I first sat down in front of the camera to, to record or to do a live, it was like, I, I kind of froze and like I didn't even realize that this was something that was going to be a hindrance for me in terms of being able to do what God is pull, putting in me to do. I, I just have to do it. And sometimes I say, oh, I'm going to say I'm not going to be, I'll come back next week. Or sometimes I'm tempted not to do it because maybe it's not mattering in anyone's life. But whether it is or not, it's something that I have to do because it's helping me as I'm on my journey and hopefully it'll help someone else. So if... Anything I've said um, pricks your your mind or is whatever. If it resonates with you in any way, I do appreciate you sharing out because that is my goal. My dream is to not just be the best me, but help other people start their journey in being the best them. Um, I do have two links in the description. One is for a group that I've started. It's a, uh, a group, Spiritual Entrepreneurs, Goal Achievers, people who know that they want more. And I'm just trying to be a support. I'm here to be a support to those of you who want to do the same. As well as I do have a link for a Facebook challenge. See, that was something that was hindering me. And I had to get over that. So, you know, I share what I know, what, what worked for me. Uh, and if, if I'm someone who you think you can... Uh, work with or you know I may not be for you because I, I have a my style might be different <laughs> to what you need but if anything that I say or my style resonates with you I'm here to be a support. Uh, Roland's not with me he's still down in in, uh, in Richmond area and I'm here visiting with my daughters so I'm going to continue doing what I'm being pulled to do. So master the skill of mindfulness you know and uh, I appreciate those of you who came on to join me live this morning. Well, good morning to you, Jackie. Good morning to you. Share, share this out if it resonates with you in any way. And uh, that way someone else can get the benefit. Because uh, on our journey, we, we're not on this road by ourselves. You know, we do have uh, the Creator. He is very much wants, wants to be involved in our lives. And so that's what I have for you this morning. Uh, and I will be back on Monday. Make this weekend awesome. Make it powerful. Um, do something good for yourself. Do something good for someone else. Have a great day. Bye now.